In 2023, the Jadens had its 10 year anniversary. Can you believe it? I feel like the Jadens just came out of nowhere. I don't even know when exactly they became popular or they made it. It was like, boom, they're here. It's like, for example, a family member, a cousin or aunt that just comes over, but you let them stay because maybe they're funny or they do like the little things, you know? But the Jadens, they're like unique boots. And I've seen this video and it's about the story of the Jadens. We're gonna see how they make it. Hopefully, it's a good video. You know, in the early days, some people were like, this is never gonna be a big thing. It just gives you an extra, oh, I need that boot. I don't care how I get it, give me that boot. It's just so synonymous with youth culture, instant cool if you had a pair on. I love how it gives me like an edgy slash high film look. When I read the other day, it was like 10 years old. I was like, surely that's one of the things that they did when they were starting, because it just makes so much. I'm in this video, by the way. Those were my boots. <laughs> they actually let me know, like, it was interesting conversation, but yeah. So my YouTube video got in th this video and they didn't show my face obviously because of all the rules and regulations, but they showed like my boots, which was interesting. Hold up. Let's go back and one more time. My mom made it. <laughs> Let me stop. But yeah, my boots are in here. Give me that boot. It's just the so synonymous with youth culture. Instant cool if you had a pair on. I love how it gives me like an edgy slash high film look. When I read the other day, it was like 10 years old. I was like, surely that's one of the things that they Oh, did that's me. Started, it makes so much sense. <laughs> it makes me feel super okay, empowered okay. and I love who I am when I wear it. Then I think the boot was going to be a She got a collection classic. on her hands. <laughs> You know, was there an edgy looking boot that kind of had that attitude in the range? There wasn't. And so I think really that's where it came from. It came from that idea of going back to the roots, but then also looking forward and seeing where we go next. The brief was to create a platform boot, which was completely different in its appearance to anything else we had in the range. So they wanted to create a platform boot that was different than anything else that they had. But the Jadens kind of look like the 1460s. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I still like the Jadens. I'm just saying. I like the zip, but like literally they're like, we need something different. Let's add a zip onto it. Range <laughs> at that point. What was going on in the streets where people were starting to dress a little bit more extreme, things were starting to happen. And of course that's Dr. Martin's stomping ground. So that's where we started. One thing I saw at the time was that there was a kind of fusion between what was going on in the fashion world and what had been going on in the alternative world. From looking back through my notes at that time when we put the first samples on the table, these were definitely met with a list of questions due to the different look to the rest of the line at that point, as this was quite groundbreaking at the time for us to be looking Okay, I like the two collaborators, or is that even a word, collaborators? The two people that worked on it. So it seemed like the male, you know, he's like more of a suave type of individual, you know, he got like, I don't want to say the youthful look, but you know, long hair, slick back with the facial hair and the gray beard, while... The female, she's more like, she looks, just on appearance alone, I, I don't know them, but she looks more of a like, boom, 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 let's get get to work and she's serious about it. She'll probably do it a thousand times just to get it right that one time. I'm not saying the guy won't do it, but just by appearances alone. In a know? gender neutral way. The Jaden boot shares some similarities with our iconic 1460 boot. The yellow and black heel loop, the grooving on the outsole, and the yellow welt stitch, plus the fact it- They said some similarities? It's a lot, I mean, I like it, but it was so similar. I mean, how can you change the, the, the Doc Martens? Like, if I had to redo it, I don't know what I'll do to change it up, to make it completely different than what you've seen before, but yeah, I mean, this is what they got. Has eight holes. The great thing about the Jaden boot is really the boot that's empowering. It really gives you the opportunity to be yourself and be expressive. So since I have my leg amputated, I can't necessarily wear heels. So it gives me that little bit of, um. I saw a, a few people that were dressed up in a certain way that appeared feminine. I was just like, you know what? I could probably do that. At first I was a little bit hesitant to show people, but it just made me more me, mostly because of the Jaden boot. Key point, when he said the whole feminine look, me personally, before I got Jaden's, I thought they were like feminine, only females could rock like chunky boots and things like that. And I slowly got into it. Like the Jadens were a slow evolution. Literally, I remember I even made a video about it. I said, they're not my type and everything. And then months later, I got them. It was like a slap in the face by some Doc Martens. But I feel like it's the way that you put them on. It's the way that you style them that makes it either feminine or non-feminine. I mean, so I feel like they can be masculine as well as feminine you know it's just the way that you style them i feel like platform boots or things like that 
guy should not be scared of. It's all about how you put them on, your confidence, and things like that. So express yourself. I dress how I want, I look how I want. I started collecting Dr. Martin's boots back in 2017. As a very tall girl with big feet, it was always such a problem for me to find suitable boots. After finding out about the Dr. Martin's Jaden boots, I went crazy and bought all the platforms I could get my hands on. Yeah, she has a lot of platform boots. The kind of boom or start of what was going on in social media allowed people to share their styles across continents rather than, you know, just across cities. People call me the OG of fashion blogging. At the time, when I was living in the Philippines, I wanted to have a website where I can communicate with all of my friends, but I remember struggling and trying to find a place in the industry. Being a product of social media, you know, like everyone wasn't really ready to embrace us. When, you know, social media democratized fashion, I think that really shook the industry completely to its core and flipped it upside down. And then there was that shift that happened when blogging exploded. I saw the Jaden boot the first time online. It kind of just blew up everywhere. And I just saw everywhere. When was the first time you, you saw the Jaden boots? I can't remember. I think a lot of females had it at first. Or the Jaden boots are dominated by females. I'll have to say. Like, I've seen a bunch of females rock some Jaden boots. They make it look good. But males, it's a whole nother thing. And then even for me... I don't know. I feel like the Jaden boots for me was more of a challenge. Like now that I put it on, I'm finding like different ways to rock them and different ways to style it that I feel comfortable in them and things like that. But the Jaden boots did have like a massive surge and it was like literally every teen girl wanted Jaden boots. Uh, it was like from teen to even college, like college girls wanted some Jaden boots, too, because it was crazy around the time. One of my the earliest memories good. of the Jaden boot is my favorite icon, Agnes Dean. It's a bit punk, it's a bit rough, it's a bit aristo. The boot is as iconic as her. So at the time when I was photographing Agnes Dean, she was wearing the Jaden boot, and I remember she just wear it in her own eclectic way, whether it was with a party dress or her everyday off-duty model attire. She wasn't wearing them because she was paid to wear them, she was wearing them because it was a way that she expressed her own style, so it was natural for us to pick Agnes to, to work with. And we worked very closely with her. You know, she became part of the design team. She'd come and sit in the office, and I used to laugh and sort of joke about every design team needs a supermodel on the team. You know, it was picked up by a lot of the alternative culture first. You know, people like Trash and Baldwin always had the Jaden boot in, in stock. When I was working with Damien, the first thing, the first special product we did was the Trash and Baldwin collab, which was on the Jaden boot. Super exciting, first one we did as a Made in England collab. Oh, the ex girls. So the collaboration came about by, as a lot of these things happen, going out, drinking, meeting people, talking in a pub over a pint, um, meeting BMAC, two people, lots of ideas, blah, 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 all at once, and finally making something happen. It's, it's one of those things that everyone thinks has happened or should have happened for years, and everyone's like, why have, you, why have you not done that? So both of the companies just have this sort of real crossover, very much linked with music, very much linked with subculture, DIY, and punk. The What's your favorite yeah. Jaden collaboration? I don't know. I mean, in general, what's your favorite Doc Martin collaborations? I feel like collaborations, it's either you like it or you don't like it. So some people enjoy it. Some people think it's just wacky and unnecessary. I mean, my favorite collaboration is usually a cold wall, but I'm starting to notice like a cold wall, they kind of just stick with the same silhouette over and over again. And Probably they change different little things like the texture or I don't know, but I like a cold wall. It's unique. Essence, I yeah, really it's been adopted by, let's say, fashion industry. However, it transcends fashion. It also plays an important part in music as it continues to evolve. When we did the campaign, we just wanted it to be about attitude. When I discovered like Grove and just like energy that it brought to the shoot, like jumping up on the pool table, we didn't have to like direct anything. It was just like, it was there. And it was like, yeah, just keep going, keep going, just do what you're doing. I see the future for sort of alternative culture. It's just becoming more and more inclusive. The Jaden boot plays an important role in music. Pop, grunge, progressive alternative. The boot empowers the artists that truly adopt the brand. So how do you see the next 10 years? Now you're not going to fuck it up. Now. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good video. I mean, to me, I'll just say that the biggest thing that I learned from it. Hold up. Let me turn off the video. That was a good video. For me, I would say the biggest thing is the Jadens, they've come out 
with a bang. And I actually like that because I like when they came out because I feel like if they would have been out since like, let's say the 90s or before they shift over to the 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 Asian market, like how would it have been like, would they been heavier or harder to put on and things like that? But I don't know if the popularity would have changed if they would have been before like social media, if they would have been there before, like, let's say the the punk era and like the early grunge and, you know, things like that, the rebellious era, would it have changed anything? But for me personally, the Jadens I have, they are the, um, what are they? The, um, the vegans. I like them. They're all black, very easy to, to put on. I really enjoy putting them on. I feel like if you put them on, they somewhat give you some type of superpowers for some reason. It just gives you that oomph, you know? I mean, and I feel like they're for everyone. I don't like to think Jadens are only for like a particular group or like, you know, I just feel like Jadens, if you want them, go get them, find a way to style them, put them in your wardrobe, look at them for a little bit. Eventually you break into them. Speaking about breaking into them, Jadens will hurt your feet. If you don't, let me just explain. If you get the wrong pair of Jadens, like let's say the smooth leather, I will pray for you, like literally, because those can hurt your feet. But this video is not about that. Just how good they look on feet and they should be durable. Literally, if they don't rip or break or any malfunctions, I feel like the Jadens definitely top five Doc Martens. <laughs> I don't want to say top three because people get confused, but top five Doc Martens. I mean, I will say... I'll put myself on the spot. I'll go, J no, not Jaden's first. I'll go 1460s, of course, well-rounded. 1461s, summertime. I like my uh, Chelsea boots. That's three. I mean, the next two, the Jaden's have to be in there. I'll say Jaden's and then the Adrian's. In no particular order for the last two. I mean, it's up to the individual. But yeah. Hey, let me know. I kind of felt like they rushed through this a little bit. I wish, I mean, they kind of told us how they came up with it. I wish they would have showed us like some early prototypes to see how they went through the whole entire process. I mean, for me, I do like mini documentaries. I just want to see how things are made, how things are done and all of that. But next time, or maybe I might have to fly to England to get a more deep dive into the Doc Martens factory and everything. Thanks for watching y'all.